Hi, it's May. How do you stop letting small things get to you? Some days things will be going just fine for me and then something will happen that really irritates me and after that the whole day can go downhill really fast. And it's usually something minor in the scheme of life like missing a train or just catching a train but not having had time for my morning cup of tea. But what if you could stop yourself from letting those small things get in the way? Wouldn't that be great? Well, my favorite technique for doing just that is what I call reframing. The underlying idea is that there are many ways to look at any situation. Now, some of them are going to be negative, but there's almost always at least one that will be constructive and, hey, even energizing. Reframing is about finding that different lens you can look through or a different perspective you can take on the situation. Let me give you an example. I was standing in a long line of people boarding a flight from New York to Phoenix. As we got near the door of the plane, there was a passenger standing at the side with a suitcase, you know, one of those rolling things that you're usually allowed to carry on board. But in this case, the flight was so full that he was going to have to gate check that bag. And as people got up to where he was standing, they would ask if he was in line, not wanting to cut in front of him, of course. So every 15 seconds or so, he had to reply, no, I've got to wait to check this carry-on bag. And he was clearly irritated by the whole thing. When I got up to him, instead of asking the same question, I said, hey, think of it think of it this way, you have to spend less time squashed into that small place than the rest of us. He grunted, hmm. The line wasn't moving very fast, so then I said, well, you're also getting to check your bag for free, and I had to pay $25 to check mine. Well, he started looking positively cheerful and thanked me. The line started inching forward, and I heard the next person ask, uh, are you in line? And guess what? The guy answered without any angst. He said, no, no, please go right ahead. So I couldn't resist turning around and saying to the people behind me that, hey, this guy is pretty clever having outsmarted the airlines. Lots of smiles all around by this time and people were saying, yeah, we're impressed too. The bottom line is that there are many ways to look at any situation and it's all about how you reframe or think about it. So today, why not challenge yourself to reframe any negative situations in a way that leaves you feeling positive? Then share your positive experience in the comments section below.